Asphalt 9 Legends actually has one of the best graphics you can actually get on a mobile device, but sometimes the progression through this game is not as beautiful as the graphics are. So today I will give you a few tips that you may find useful during your progression in this game, and I really hope you will enjoy them. So with no more delay, let's get into it. The first thing you need to know is that actually the way cars uh, uh, arrive into Asphalt 9 uh, changes from season to season. For example, in the previous season you could actually get a few free cars just playing special events that appear during weekends or something like that. Well, on the current season you can actually obtain cars playing a new special event called Loop Bricks, while you can also obtain cars from playing multiplayer, which is why this season is more multiplayer focused but the main thing is that uh, the way cars arrive in future seasons may vary from the ways that new cars arrive right now so I will give you advices that will hopefully still work in the future unless Gameloft make uh, serious changes in the game but anyway the first thing you need to know is that the main currency on Alpha Lane are not the credits but the tokens you need to focus on get and save up as many tokens as possible so you can obtain better cards when their packs arrive into the shop because that's the way you will get a chance to get the newest and probably the best cards with your tokens so the more tokens you could save up the better will be the chances of you getting a car and stirring up a car that will be probably a king in the future because let's remember that maybe right now you have a special meta in terms of the best cars of the entire game but in the next month new kings could arrive and maybe that's your chance to get a new good uh, car to use in multiplayer on events and etc because let's remember that uh, Asphalt Knight has almost 160 cards, which is a lot, and most of them are not available. This is, no matter how much money do you spend, you will never get a chance to unlock all these cards, because some cards just come from time to time at very special occasions. So you need to focus on getting cards that will be useful and will help you to progress through history mode, so you can reach events faster, and once you reach events, you will get a chance to lock a way more cards that will be extremely helpful for your progression. So if you just begin on Asphalt 9 Legends, the first card that you need to get as soon as possible is the DS items on D-Class, because this card may be low, but is one of the best D-Class cards you can actually get once you are beginning on Asphalt 9 Legends. Has a really good net duration, a decent acceleration that will help you a lot at the beginning of multiplayer seasons. Then we have on C-Class the Pirifarina H2 speed, who has a really good top speed and a quite good net duration for the rank where it is, so will be also quite helpful for multiplayer and I think it's a, a way more versatile options than the other. So that's another card you need to keep in mind. Once you reach B-Class, you should uh, focus on the Corvette GS because this car is a bit toxic because it's a really spent car on B-Class car or multiplayer, but it's a really good one because handles so well and is so easy to dominate. So actually, if you get a chance to unlock this car, go for this one because it will be extremely uh, useful for multiplayer and also you will see how powerful that card truly is. Then moving to A-Class, we have a few options, but actually the card that was most useful for me at least was the McLaren P1. Uh, because I know the Aventador SB is actually also quite good, but the McLaren P1 feels more agile and also in my opinion uh, is easier to dominate once you unlock it. And at S-Class you may unlock the Lamborghini Centenario before, but you should go for the Icona Vulcano Titanium because actually has a way better handling, a way better drift radius than the Lamborghini Centenario and most important, the top speed. Because let's remember that the top speed will be extremely helpful if the multiplayer season is with slight slipstream. So in my opinion, you may unlock the Centenario faster, but focus your resources into upgrading and unlocking the Icona Volcano Titanium. Also, you may be guessing, but how could I obtain this card you mentioned? Well, there are a few ways, but mostly, of course, you can unlock these cards through events. You need to play events daily in order to obtain blueprints for better cards, because there are a few events that will be extremely helpful for you. First of all, we have the Credit Heist, which you actually should play daily in order to obtain the maximum amount of credits possible. 
But one of the cups that will help you the most will be the special class cups as you are seeing on screen right now. Each day there is one cup and on the weekend you have two extra cups where you can get some extra blueprints to unlock the cards I mentioned earlier among others. But this is actually quite helpful so I recommend you to check events daily because there are so free tests where the, the game allows you to play with a card you don't own. And Actually, that free test sometimes give extra credits, tokens and that stuff. So I recommend you to check the events from day to day. So you don't miss any special event where you could get some extra tokens with a free test drive or something like that. So you need to stay really tuned at the events because you can also obtain cards like the Red Money Beast X, the Lamborghini Egoista or the Three or Nemesis playing week after week. If you are consistent, you will unlock this card faster, you will gold them faster and we, they are also really good cards that I totally recommend to go for because you only need to be consistent and you will get them playing basically from day to day. Okay so at this point we know that we need to save up tokens in order to obtain the best cards in the future. We also know that we need to play daily events in order to get good cards so we can progress on career mode. We also, need, we also know that we need to focus on a specific cards in order to succeed on multiplayer, but also you need to know about the special events. Special events may change in the future, but as for now, there are a few kinds. The first of them is the classic special event where you will need a few cards in order to play at some steps so you can get blueprints of the special event card and that stuff. But most of the time, I don't recommend going for these uh, special events because you need to save up like 20,000 to 15,000 tokens in order to unlock the cards. And in case you want to start up the card, the, the, the special event card, you will need like 30,000 tokens depending on the class of the car so I need to I need to tell you that you need first to save up a lot of tokens and check the official community channels so you can see the best car in order to spend your tokens wisely also we have the Grand Prix where you can actually compete against other players but this is sometimes a bit unfair because you may face really skilled players and you may not get qualified but I think that the special events are worth a whole different uh, video where I will explain all the details about the special events because now on this update we got new special events and that stuff. So if you would like to see me doing a special events guide, let me know in the comments because I don't want to make an extremely long video. I already wanted to give you the basic advices about the game so you could progress on the most intelligent way without wasting your resources. So yeah, overall this was pretty much my guide. I would also recommend you guys to not to spend like 5 hours per day playing the game or something like that. I strongly recommend you to find a supportive club but not an extremely grinding one because if you grind too much you will end up burn and if you end up burned you will stop liking the game and all the effort you put into the game will go to waste so i recommend you to uh, slowly enjoy the game step by step enjoy the process of obtaining new cars and that stuff and that stuff and you will eventually realize how cool this game is without spending like a ton of money because if you spend the money i would recommend you guys to only spend the money on the uh, season pass but only if the season uh, pass premium car is useful because sometimes you may pay for the pass but still you will get a mediocre uh, car so I recommend you to check the official channels in order to find out how good the new season pass car is. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video guys let me know your thoughts in comments uh, if you would like to see a second part of this guide or so and I will see you really soon with much more asphalt. Goodbye guys. Take and beat it, I'ma get it, I'ma grab it, man Take it, never receive it, I'ma make it mine I'm explosive like a mine, I've been working every time Yeah, I do it on the grind, I'ma shine, I'ma shine Yeah, every single day, I'ma kill this competition Cause I'm going so insane, hey, hey. I'm really going so insane, yeah I guess really ran through the pain, but I'm just back on my path And I fixed it, now it's really all okay So I ain't gonna waste yeah, my chance and just my time So I'ma be a monster, I'ma kill him, this is mine, yeah, yeah